Whenever we start off looking at something like this, this is very similar to the structure of a quadratic. We have something squared and then that same value right there. And so what I do is I, I like to do a U substitution because it helps me see the whole thing better. So let U equal sine theta. And then what this becomes, this becomes 2U squared minus 3U plus one equals zero. Now I see, oh, this is just a, a normal quadratic. We've solved quadratics like this a thousand times. Uh, for this video, I'm not gonna go into how to solve the quadratic. I'm gonna solve it by factoring because I don't think this is too bad to factor. From here, I could do this and this. And if I solve for u, we get, but keep in mind, I don't really care what u is. We let u equal sine theta early in the problem. So I'm gonna substitute that sine theta back into these two equations. And so we're here. If sine theta equals one half for, for our unit circle, we define sine theta as the y coordinate. So I'm looking for, for what angle of rotation is the y coordinate one half. And I see there's a couple of places where that's true. We've got it right there and right there. So our angle of rotation, this problem asks us to answer in radians. So our angle of rotation is pi over six and five pi over six. There's two locations for which that's true. So our theta, our solution to this is pi over six and five pi over six. But then also this equation right here will yield a solution. If I look at this equation right here, then it's gonna yield the solution. Where is the Y coordinate equal to one? And you see the Y coordinates equal to one right there at pi over two. Now, technically I should probably write these solutions in order from least to greatest. I should probably have that pi over two written in the middle, but this is a, a good answer here. Let's look at our next problem. Now, if we're looking at this next problem, the first thing that's jumping out at you is probably that it's not quite as easy to do a U substitution here. Because well, look, we have sine here, but we have cosine here. It's not the same thing. Well, in these situations, it's helpful to have a good grasp of your identities. And one of our most basic identities is the Pythagorean identity. And if I'm here, I could rearrange this and solve for sine theta. And so by subtracting cosine squared theta from each side, we have sine squared theta equals one minus cosine squared theta. So I could take one minus cosine squared theta and substitute it in right here. So let's do that. And notice by making that substitution with our Pythagorean identity, we now have an equation that is only in terms of cosine. Let's do some basic algebra simplification here. Two minus two cancels. And I'm gonna bring everything over to one side of the equation. Now I think we're ready to do that U substitution like we did in the last problem. And now when I substitute it in, the equation looks like this, 2U squared minus U minus one equals zero. At this point, we're gonna solve this quadratic. I don't care if you use quadratic formula, factor it, whatever you wanna do. I'll, I'll factor real quick, because once again, I think this one factors nicely. And I'm gonna set each factor equal to zero and solve. Then once again, we don't care what u is. u is a variable that we introduced. We know u is equal to cosine x. So let's substitute our cosine x back in. Now we're at this point for our unit circle, our cosine is defined as the x coordinate. So if I'm looking, where is the x coordinate equal to negative one half? And I think we're gonna find x is equal to negative one half there and there. But also where is the x coordinate equal to one? And the x coordinate is equal to one right there. So our solutions are gonna be the radian measures at those locations. So our final solution, I'll write it here in purple, is x equals zero, two pi over three, and four pi over three. The end.